Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. How are you? I'm good. All right. So, uh, how are, uh, what did you do for the week? What did you do? Last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Uh, in my computer. Oh, you studied in your computer. What did you study? I studied. Took last study in the class. Sorry? Ah, why? You don't have, uh, you don't go to school anymore? No, because of the virus. Okay. Oh, because of the virus. Oh, yeah. because of the virus, we have to study at home now. I see. Is that correct? Because of the virus, you have to study at home. Let's see. How is it studying at home? Is it fun? It's just like we study in the class. Oh, it's just the same. It's just the same. All right. But what would you prefer? Study at home or study in school? What? What do you prefer? What do you like more? You study in the school or stuff in the classroom, in the school, right? Well, definitely, because you can see your classmates, right? And you can play after the, after the class. While if you're at home, you cannot play with them, right? <laughs> because no one to play with, right? So when did it start? You study in the, in the, in the at, at your house. When did it start? When did you start studying at your house? Oh, you don't remember. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. So that's interesting. Okay. So you were able. But good thing summer is near. Is that correct? The summer? Summer vacation? Are you excited for your summer vacation? Yes, but I uh, so, uh, You cannot go out? No. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, yeah. So when my teacher said when uh, I go to school again, I have a test. Sorry, have, have a, a test. 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 Yeah. Oh, what test? Science. Oh history. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of tests. <laughs> oh, I see. Why are you going to move out? What from what now? From what grade are you going to? Six to seven. I don't understand. I mean, what grade will you be next year, next school year? Five. Ah, you will be grade five, I see. So there will be more subjects to study. All right, you can do it. Don't worry. You are so good in English. For sure, you can do well in other subjects. All right? Okay. Annie, can you still remember our topic last time? Topic? Hmm? Yeah, our lesson. Do you remember it? No? <laughs> Can't remember it? You don't remember our lesson last time, uh, Annie? Yeah. Hmm? Okay, it's okay. Uh, let's try to go back now and we're going to continue our study, um, Annie. So kind of give me a second. I will just load our material. All right? Just a second. Hello, Annie. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So if you can see, we're going to continue here. All right. All right. Do you remember this um this lesson? Yeah. 
So before that, we talk, we ask a lot of questions, right? And now we're going to read the story. Read the story. And you need to write some words to complete the sentences about the story. You can use one, two, three, or four. Okay, can you describe to me the picture? I think. What can you observe? I don't know. Oh, okay. What is this man holding? What is he carrying? Sorry? Okay, yes. He is oh, carrying a computer, right? And this man? Having a camera, right? Video camera, right? And there are different shows or maybe pictures at the back, in the background. Mathematics, or this one is desert, space, mountains, castle, right? Okay, now let's try to read the story. Okay, um, Annie, I want you to read it um, silently first. I want you to read silently, and if you're finished, tell me if you're finished reading it, okay? So I want you to read it slowly, huh? I can read it now. Ah, you want to read it now. Okay, sure, no worries. Can you read it loud? Harry and the difficult question. Harry does difficult, again, difficult. Very good. Continue. Harry does love learning. He had he had hundreds of books in his room at home and often searched in the internet. The internet. The internet again. The internet. Okay, good. As well to find out about younger. The the oceans. The oceans. The oceans again. The oceans. No. Pop music or anything else that he wants. He was in. He was interested in. Interested in. One day, Harry's teacher said, Would you like to be on a TV program? Harry is. Okay, all right, uh, Annie, you're going to read it again. Would you like to be on a TV program, Harry? Again. Would you like to be on a TV program, Harry? It's a competition. It's a competition, again. It's a competition on Channel 7 for the cleverest children in the country. Who All right. Have to answer, uh, who also? Answer, who? No, you have to answer what is what? Okay, uh, you have to answer. You have to answer several difficult questions, meaning many. Several means many, a lot. Okay. You have to ask several difficult questions. Yes, of course. Harry answered. The next day, a man called Mr. Silver came to the school with some important information for Harry about the competition. But before he do the quiz on TV, I have four questions. Are you ready, Harry? Yes. Harry whispers because suddenly the quiz sounds quite frightening. Mm -hmm. Good. Where's the river? River. Sorry, again, again, where are you? Revert themes, okay? 
Thames. In London, Harry, Harry said, and what are a group of jellyfish or people? A swarm. 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 Harry answered, well done. What? 27 times 5. 100. Uh, 35. Harry asked so quickly. Where? Which is the highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest and is uh, 8,848 meters, meters high. high. Harry was Answers with S. And answers were right. All right. Excellent. 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 Again. Excellent. Excellent. The man said. The man said. You, you were clever enough. You're clever enough. You're clever enough for the competition. Next Tuesday, a tough will bring you and your parents to television house at six o'clock. Now I just need I just need to know your age. When your birthday Harry. Harry was so excited he could he couldn't speak. Sorry, he said. I've forgotten. Alright. So he he has forgotten his birthday, right? He was able to answer hard questions, just like where do you find the river Thames and what do you call the group of jellyfish and beasts? That's a swarm. So Harry is very smart, but when he was asked when is his birthday, what did he say? I've forgotten. So, so being smart, what he 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 what he was he he forgot his birthday, right? So because it's because of excitement, definitely, right? Okay. I, I think Harry uh, can answer difficult questions, but the easy questions. Yes. Can. That's right. He was able to answer difficult questions, but the most. Uh, I mean, the easiest question, just like, when is his birthday? He forgot his answer. <laughs> All right. So what about you, Annie? Were you able to, were you, can you, or say, yes. Can you answer difficult questions? Can you answer difficult questions, Annie? What do you think? If I'm going to ask you 12 times 9, can you say your answer immediately? Twelve, twelve, twelve. Don't ah, you don't know math in English, right? For example, twenty-seven times five. It looks like this. It's just a second. So if you say twenty-seven times five, it looks like this. Twenty-seven times five equals. All right, that's one thirty-five. That's why when I ask you 12 times 9, what is the answer? Uh, 100, uh, 108. Very good. 100, very good, right? You're quite smart. You can answer easily, right? Very fast. But of course, this one is easy, right? 12 times 9 is equals 108. Wait, 12 times 9 equals 108. Okay, good. All right, let's go to the next part. Okay. I want you to answer silently, right? Uh, Annie, can you write it on your paper first? Then let's check after. Can you do it? Yes, but I don't have a notebook here. Hmm. Or do you want to write it on the chat box? Do you want chat 
you want to send it through chat? Okay. Okay, let's try to send it through. But answer it silently first. If you're finished, tell me, okay? Okay, uh, kind of excuse me, Annie. I will just get something, okay? I'll be back. Annie, are you finished? No. Okay, take your time. Can I play a story again? Sure, sure. And tell me if you want to go back, all right? Can we go back now to the questions? Okay, so you want to read it first. It's okay. Tell me if you want to go back, right? Okay, what question? What number? Three. Three. The blank in Harry's country will be on the TV program. The blank in Harry's country will be on the TV program. What do you think is the country, um, Annie? Yeah, 
Okay, I can. Okay, can you see the answer right, uh, Annie? The cleverest children. All right. So continue reading number four. Do you want to see again the story? No. Okay. I want to answer. Okay, sure, sure, no worries. Yes, the cleverest children, meaning the most, uh, the smartest, and the most intelligent. Okay, again, actor, what word? No, actor. What do you, what's the, what's the answer? No, I, I want, I want to write the answer, but I don't know how to spell. 
Do you want to look again on the story? All right. I'm finished. Finish. All right. So I want you to read the examples and the question. And as you read the question, I want you also to tell me the answer, okay? Can you start? Read the example first, Annie. Harry's surname was Harry's stolen. Harry's surname? Harry's surname was Doors. Doors. Okay, good. Second example. There were hundreds of books in Harry's room. Okay, good. Number one. Harry used his book and internet to find out lots of things. Very good. Good job. Number two, please. The first person to tell Harry about the competition on Channel 7 was very good. But the competition, Annie, as you can see, your spelling is C-O-M-P-I-T-I-T-I-O-N. But as you can see, it should be it should be C-O-M-P-E-T-I-T-I-O-N. Okay? Do you understand, Annie, the correct spelling of the word competition? Annie? Can you spell to me the word competition, Annie? C-O-N-T-E-T-I-T-I-O-N. Very good. Thank you very much. Now let's go to number three. The cleverest children in Harry's country will be on the TV program. Okay, good. So that's what we say, the cleverest child. Okay, the cleverest child. It should be cleverest child. Guess it's only one. Key number four. The name of the man who came to see Harry was Mr. Silver. Was Mr. Silver. Good job. Nice one. Continue number he five. Gave Harry some questions about the competition. Or some information, right? It's some information. That's good. Number six. Harry was happy because uh, answers to his answers. Very good. Okay. Questions were right. Very good. Nice one. But Harry couldn't remember the date of his birthday. All right. So, but Harry couldn't remember the date of his birthday. Nice one, Annie. Can you give me a high five? Good job. Nice one. Nice one. Right now, let's go to the next part. So we're going to listen here, and I want you to put the color, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, good. So let me show you also the sound. So listen carefully, all right? So let's start. 52E. What a lot of questions. Listen and color. Did you see that competition on the television last night? Harry Doors was in it. Harry Doors? The boy at our school? Was he? Yes, 
he looked great. He had a red sweater on, and he answered lots of questions. He's so clever. He knows how far it is to the moon. Well, I don't. Who asked all the questions? An old man with a funny yellow scarf on. I remember another question. It was, how many letters are there in each of the words alphabet and moustache? Harry put his hand up so quickly, but a girl got the next question right. She had long brown hair. What was the question? What's 30 times 15? Hmm, 450. Yes. I want to find Harry and ask him about the competition. Did he win it? Yes. What did he win? A computer that he can use at home. It was green. Harry wants to be an astronaut one day. He told the man on the program. Wow! Let's listen one more time, Annie, okay? So take note of the different colors, okay? One more time. 52E. What a lot of questions. Listen and color. Did you see that competition on the television last night? Harry Doors was in it. Harry Doors? The boy at our school? Was he? Yes, he looked great. He had a red sweater on, and he answered lots of questions. He's so clever. He knows how far it is to the moon. Well, I don't. Who asked all the questions? An old man with a funny yellow scarf on. I remember another question. It was, how many letters are there? In each of the words, alphabet and moustache. Harry put his hand up so quickly, but a girl got the next question right. She had long brown hair. What was the question? What's 30 times 15? Hmm, 450. Yes. I want to find Harry and ask him about the competition. Did he win it? Yes. What did he win? A computer that he can use at home. It was green. Harry wants to be an astronaut one day. He told the man on the program. Oh, wow! All right, Annie. Hello, Annie. What? Is that all? Your answers? Brown hair, yellow scarf, and green computer? Sorry, sorry. Do you want to listen one more time? Okay, sure. Fifty-two E. What a lot of questions. Listen and color. Did you see that competition on the television last night? Harry Doors was in it. Harry Doors? The boy at our school? Was he? Yes. He looked great. He had a red sweater on, and he answered lots of questions. He's so clever. He knows how far it is to the moon. Well, I don't. Who asked all the questions? An old man with a funny yellow scarf on. I remember another question. It was, how many letters are there in each of the words alphabet and moustache? Harry put his hand up so quickly, but a girl got the next question right. She had long brown hair. What was the question? What's 30 times 15? Hmm, 
four hundred and fifty. Yes. I want to find Harry and ask him about the competition. Did he win it? Yes. What did he win? A computer that he can use at home. It was green. Harry wants to be an astronaut one day. He told the man on the program. <laughs> wow. Finish? Yeah. All right. So can you tell me what are the things that has color? Things that have color? Can you tell me? The, the hair of the bird, the sweater of Harry, and the computer and the stuff. Let's check. The boy's sweater is red. The man's scarf is yellow. The girl's hair is brown, and the prize computer is green. Nice one. All right, good job. So you got perfect score. Nice one, um, Annie. Give me a high five. Good job. Very smart. Okay, for our assignment, okay, make questions which starts by each word, which, who, where, whose, when, why, and answer them. Okay? Do you understand, Annie? Yes, to send from my mother. Yes, I will send this one now to your mother so that you can remember. All right? Do you have questions so far? No. Okay, for the meantime, it's almost time. Um, maybe we just continue next time. All right, Annie? So let us meet next Wednesday for the class. All right, so thank you very much for coming to class, Annie, and see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye now. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye.